This video will demonstrate the process for setting head clearance in a Blackmer LB601 compressor, and it is typical for other Blackmer reciprocating gas compressors. First, we're going to use a depth caliper to check the piston clearance. Later, we'll show you an alternative method using shim stock or feeler gauges to check piston clearance in the field. The piston clearance distance is measured with the depth caliper from the top surface of the cylinder, as shown here, to the top surface of the piston while the piston is at its highest point in the cylinder, commonly called top dead center, or TDC. Place the depth caliper across the cylinder, resting the caliper on its surface. With the flywheel rotated so the piston is resting at the bottom of the cylinder, set the depth caliper to the maximum measurement. Hold the depth caliper in place and rotate the flywheel so that the piston rises to top dead center. The piston will hit the depth caliper, setting the gauge to reflect the measurement of piston clearance. For the LB601 compressor, the piston clearance is between 0.020 inches or 20 thousandths to 0.035 inches or 35 thousandths. That equates to 0.508 to 0.889 millimeters. As measured, the clearance on the unit shown here is 0.030 inches, or 30 thousandths of an inch, which is within our tolerance range. This procedure should be performed for each cylinder. If you are in the field and you do not have a depth caliper, the secondary method of confirming piston clearance is performed using shim stock or feeler gauges and a flat machine square. Place the machine square across the top surface of the cylinder and rotate the flywheel so the piston rises to top dead center. Take a piece of 0.020 or 20 thousandths of an inch shim stock, which is 0.508 millimeters, and try to slide it in the gap between the top of the piston and the bottom of the machine square. It should fit easily. Next, take a piece of 0.035 or 35 thousandths of an inch shim stock, which is 0.889 millimeters, and try to slide it in the same gap between the top of the piston and the bottom of the machine square. The 0.035 inch shim stock should not quite fit. If you have to make adjustments to the piston clearance, it is better to adjust towards the maximum clearance rather than the minimum. That concludes the quick yet easy and extremely precise methods for measuring piston clearance on a Blackmer reciprocating gas compressor, making sure it falls within the proper tolerance range. Please note that the piston clearance for every model is different. Consult the IOM for your exact model to determine the proper piston clearance. Changing the piston clearance requires removal of the piston lock nut and piston to access the piston shims. This is detailed in the packing replacement video.